Space Defense Command F-106 Delta Dart has just destroyed this mace missile with a Vulcan 20-millimeter cannon. Normally armed with air-to-air -air missiles, this F-106 test aircraft has an added feature, a rapid-fire cannon mounted internally and fired from beneath the aircraft's belly. The test program for this six-barreled aircraft cannon is Project Six Shooter. Additionally, a clear canopy is installed on this Delta Dart. Unobstructed vision is an essential requirement for air-to-air -air combat. Its pilot, Major George Hennigan, prepares to shoot down the MACE missile. F-106s would maintain normal configuration for the U.S. air defense operation. Should emergencies arise, cannon kits could be installed. Within a matter of hours, ADC's Delta Dart could be on their way, equipped with both missile and cannon armament, ready for action. Radar, the prime component of space track, is operational in many remote parts of the world. 14th Aerospace Force's 19th Surveillance Squadron recently received the Chenal Trophy, presented annually to the top Flying Tiger unit. Strategically located at the Abaker, Turkey, the 19th continually monitors potentially hostile launches and space activity. This vital unit can give the United States precious extra warning time in the case of enemy attack. Another part of the space track system is optical sensors, Baker Nun cameras. These cameras photograph our space travelers. Located at four sites, Baker Nun to photograph recent Apollo moon missions. Cameras must be operated in twilight or darkness to catch light reflected from orbiting objects. Operational since 1961 by the Aerospace Defense Command, Space Track's network of electronic and optical sensors continues to monitor Earth orbiting space objects. In aerospace defense, complex electronic radar cannot be taken for granted. Radar must function properly at all times, even if located at remote sites. A special Air Force unit, the 4754th Radar Evaluation Squadron, helps keep radar units at peak efficiency. Recently, the Alaskan Air Command requested the Hill Air Force Base unit to evaluate two of its sites, Indian Mountain and Fort Yukon. A team of experts was chosen and sent to Alaskan Air Command headquarters. After meetings with command personnel, temporary control of the sites was transferred to the 4754th. The team then flew to Fort Yukon and Indian Mountain, and the scientific work began. All equipment was checked to ensure it met technical order specifications. Surrounding landscape was checked to determine the optimum operating conditions for the radar. After the team determined the radar was performing to specifications, B-57 evaluation flights began. High, medium, and low altitude flights were used to evaluate the radar's performance. Upon completion, the team returned to Hill to examine evaluation. Best configurations for operation of the equipment were determined, documented, and a report published for the Alaskan Air Command. At the radar squadron, the report became a valuable tool for solving problems and correcting procedures for the radar's best operation. The 4754th Radar Evaluation Squadron, keeping aerospace defense at peak performance.